Hey, welcome to the Windows channel, and uh, I want to uh, show the new design of the Windows Store, or the Microsoft Store. In Windows 8.1, and one of the reasons maybe why you'll want to go to Windows 10, you'll uh, pretty much stick with an old design of the Windows Store. But in Windows 10, they really, really um, improved the Windows and Microsoft Store incredibly well and uh, it's really nice they have now categories it's much better organized even though it's still you know place for improvements it's still really well organized when you look at it what's also cool is now they've you know sent different categories at the top so you have a category for what's called apps which is everything except games and that's I think really really nice much better to uh, find something that you want. Then you have the games section, which is also something quite interesting because you only, if you're a gamer, if you only want to play games, you just go in the game section and go through all of the games that you'll see here. Always with you know a pretty good um, way to organize it. And you got the top charts. You can go to game categories and so on. It's very very nice. One of the also new things and very nice in Windows 10 Microsoft Store is the fact that they've cleaned up the store. There's just so much junk and if you remember about a year ago I really complained on my channel about how bad the Microsoft Store was in Windows 8 and how there was just so much crap in it. And um, you know what? In Windows 10, I think they want to really, really have people using it. They've cleaned it to a point where it's much better, much more interesting and refined. For example, here I'm searching for VLC. You know, you got the real VLC here. You don't have all that crap that was around it that, you know, was like uh, VLC instructions, manuals or FAQ or whatever. It's, you know, really cleaned up to the point where you have the apps centered and you don't have a million apps with the same type of icon that try to lure you into buying junk. I think that was really needed and uh, I think it's a good thing. But what's also cool is that now you can also buy music. Download music, buy your favorite artists, download it to your computer, your phone. What's nice with the fact that it's a universal app if you have a Windows phone, a Windows tablet, and a Windows PC, you have all of that in all of your devices. It's really, really cool. You'll be able also to rent movies, TV shows, even buy movies and TV series. So it's really, really nice. Uh, I think the Microsoft Store is much better now. And, uh, you know, with a little more tweaking maybe. Um, but, you know, as you see on the upper left, it says Store Beta. So this is really an unfinished version, but I must say that uh, I think this is going to be a win-win a situation, especially if you have multiple Windows devices. Everything will be available on all devices at the same time because the Microsoft Store will be a universal app, so everything will really synchronize everywhere. So uh, that's a little look at the new and improved Microsoft Store that will uh, feature in Windows 10. And of course, this is not finished. This is still unfinished store tweaking. Uh, a lot of people are sending comments about how they want to see it, how it should appear, and how you should actually have a good experience. And you know, maybe that's gonna help people go a little more into the App Store, the Microsoft Store to get stuff. Uh, because uh, frankly, in Windows 8.1 and Windows 8, the Microsoft Store is far from being a great example of uh, <laughs> a uh, store. It's uh, complex and it's too complicated to use and it's so badly organized that it's difficult to find something. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? We'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything you want to know about Windows 8, Windows 10, anything that you might want to have a video let us know and we'll try to post that video online. Thank you for watching.